everyone. Welcome back to the Storytime family. How are you today? Have you been good? Have you been learning lots of new interesting things at school? I hope you've also been reading lots of books by yourself. Today we have a book called The Book of Zero. Written by Asimina Mikelides. Let's get started, shall we? The Book of Zero. Once upon a time, there was a neighborhood of numbers. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They were all friends and liked to play. Addition was their favorite game. Out in the park, they danced and played, singing rhymes they all had made. I love me and I love you. Dance around this lovely tree. Keep on smiling and jump some more. Each of us is special to the mix. We're amazing. We will thrive. Somewhere behind the trees, there was another number. It was zero, and it was hiding. Zero did not join in the game. It felt shy, sad, and lonely. It felt empty. How could I join in? I'm so scared. I don't fit in. It doesn't matter if I play. I make no difference anyway. Let me see. One plus zero equals one. Two plus zero equals two. Three plus zero equals three. It's as if nobody notices me. Zero went to Mama Zero, but didn't want to talk. Mama saw a baby sad, and took it for a walk. You seem upset, my little one. Is everything okay? No, mommy. I also want to play. Then big feelings came about. For that, there is no doubt. Ah! I understand you feel upset. It happens to me too. Let me show you a magic trick. That can always help you. Make your belly a big balloon, fill it up with air. Think of all the bright moon and let the air out there. Do this simple trick, and magic happens in your brain. It soothes away your fear and pain. Repeat a few more times for as long as you wish and see. Doesn't your body feel calm? As if you're swimming in the sea, I do feel better. I really do. Thank you, mommy. I love you. Then mom and zero shared ideas of what to do next time. After hearing the little one out, mom knew it would be all fine. Mom hugged the little zero, and gave some great advice. Why not go back and say hi? Greet your friends with a big smile. You have so much strength inside, but you, my brave zero, just share your unique style. It's not just mommy saying this because she loves you so. Now you know to take a breath and let your fear go. All numbers have a value. We zeros do too. Imagine a world without me or you. There will be no big round numbers. Think about the tens. Think about the hundreds. No thousands. No millions. Imagine not even billions. There will be no computer codes. What? That means no tablets and no phones. We zeros make a whole lot of difference next to any number. We are very special, unique like no other. All numbers are important in their unique way. We each do look different, and that's absolutely okay. I was shy too when I was little, so don't waste another day. Enjoy the gift of life. Ask your friends to play. 
Wow, mommy used to be shy? Zero thought a while, and then mom was right. Yes, she's right again. Zero gathered up its courage and knew it had a choice. To stay lonely, grumpy, shy, or find the strength to use its voice. It chose to stop hiding. It had nothing to lose. If it were you, what would you choose? Zero went back to the park and said with a firm voice, Hi guys, can I play with you? Yes, of course. Come join us too. The numbers gathered close again. One stood next to Zero, and they made a ten. Wow, that is so cool. Together we are stronger. Our value just grew. Next came two, and made a twenty. And then three, and it became a thirty. On and on they played for hours, singing and dancing among the flowers. The numbers were happy they had a new friend. Zero never hit alone again. And to you who are reading this now, remember the story and always know you are unique, one of a kind. There is no one in the world like you and I. We're all special. We can all thrive. Once we discover our strengths inside, be true to you. Always be kind, love yourself, and speak your mind. Zero's other unique power. I can make numbers disappear. Check this out. One times zero equals zero. Thirty-five times zero equals zero. Nine hundred eighty-two times zero equals zero. The end. And that was the book of zero. How did you enjoy the book of zero? Maybe that was helpful in helping you learn some numbers, or maybe now you know that you are special, just like zero. If you enjoyed this book, do give us a like and subscribe, and click on the bell for more stories like this. Show the author some love, and own a copy of this book. You can purchase your copy with the links in our description below. Thank you so much for reading with us. We'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye bye.